All right, guys, that's a bit rude, isn't it? I'm coming, but no, look, you can't just walk around inside the house. <gasps> you can't. It's not allowed. I need to go and get your food first. Hang on. You should be outside. Look, there's all the other birds outside. I'll get your food. Just wait. They're very hungry and they've got babies to feed. <laughs> Hang on. I'll go and get your food. All right, I've got your food. Let's go. Come on. Shoo. Off we go. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Out you go. Let's go. Come on, you can't just walk around my house. <laughs> no, you can't. Come on, outside. Let's go. You coming? You coming? Come on. You too. Come on. Just walk across the table. Yep, good on you. Let's go. Very cheeky. Very, very cheeky, aren't you? Hey? Yes. All right, well, can I sit down, please? Out of the way, let me sit down and I'll get your food. Alright, here we go. Am I supposed to open this one handed now? Just wait. Alright, hang on. I suppose you'll be sitting on my lap next, will you? Yes. There you go. Goodness me. It's a bit much, isn't it? Oh, just, just, just wait. Just, just wait, here. Oh, goodness me. You guys, it's a bit much. You're a bit much. Right, look, you've already got a beak full. Are you taking that to your babies, are you? All right. You got enough? All right, off you go. Taking it to the babies. Do you want some? I'll put it here, don't bite my hand. There you go. What about your friends over there? They can, I'll just throw it out here. Goodness me, you guys. You're all getting a bit cheeky, aren't you? Hey? Is that good? Have you also got a baby to feed? Hmm? Have you? Your baby's already left the nest. Crow, the wind has blown David's golf net over. <laughs> Kookaburra just chased the magpie away. That wasn't very polite of you. Here, Maggie. I'll give him a few so I can get a beak full. Take it to the babies. Oh, no, that's for the magpie. That's for the babies. Come over here, Maggie. You pick up a whole heap of things. Off you go. Oh, did you drop it? Off you go. Bye. What about you? You're just sitting here. No, off you go. All right. guys are hysterical. All right, I'm going inside now. G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Thanks so much for being here today. We're going to have fun today. Yes, we are. I'm going to use my new caterpillar mold. Look, isn't it just adorable? It's so cute. So today what I want to do is um, I want to do like kind of like a desert theme. I've got these artificial cacti. I've got this longer one, which I'm hoping to insert into the head like that. Hopefully that will work. <laughs> and then I've got um, a few smaller ones. I'm hoping this will work, you guys. I'm hoping it'll work. And then a little tiny one for down the back. So that, that's my plan. That's my plan, Stan, for today. So I'm going to put them all in first. I'm going to start with this one. Actually, I should go around this way, shouldn't I? Because I'm right-handed. Let's move everybody over. You, you, <laughs> you, 
you and you. All right, that's 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 how we're going to do it. Um, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to pop these all in. Um, I just got these on eBay. If I can remember, I'll see if I can link where I got them from. That's them there. So they're just going to sit like that. I'm hoping that, um, you know, once I get them all in, they'll kind of support each other and, and stand up like that. I may have to snip that little top bit off, but we'll, we'll see how we go afterwards once I've got everybody in. And the other thing I want to do, and I don't know if I need to lift it up a little bit, because these this one's quite... That one's quite long. This one's not as long. Um, after I've put the clear coat on, and I'm only going to come up to um, where those feet start. Can you see that there? And then once it's set, I'm going to top it with little pebbles. I haven't decided yet if I want the brownish ones or the greyish ones. I'm going to do a, a layer of pebbles. So it looks it looks as if all the cacti are you know, coming out of the, the ground, so to speak. But I'm not sure if I need to... I've got this here in case I need to like string any of them up to hold them up. We'll see. This one might be too high, you know. I might have to I might have to actually snip this top row off. Let me just get them all in and we'll have a look. But so basically this is what it's going to look like. And I thought I'll get them all in first and then work out <clears throat> if I need to string them up or whether they'll be able to just support each other because you know it's great when we all support each other <laughs> this one looks as if it's gonna fall down anyway I'm gonna have a little play with it try and get them all in there the way I want them and um, yeah, this one I think this is the only one that's kind of dropped down um, and then this one, I think I really need to take a little bit off that one. I think I do. Let's just try that. Do I need to get them all out to do it? Maybe I can just... I'll try this way. I'll snip that. Oh, it's only a little short one anyway. Snip that one. So I thought I'll do the longest one in the, in the at the front there so it goes into his head and first segment of the body like so I thought that would look quite nice oh I dropped it come out come out there we go all right now I need to snip that off I wonder if that's plastic or metal oh it's plastic <laughs> that's okay all right so there's the top little layer of oh that's much better just take one little layer of leaves off that is much better all right now this one this is the only one that I thinking I may need, unless I can wedge it. You know what, I think it might be all right. I'm just looking at where that ends. It needs to be higher than, than that, that's all. Otherwise the pebbles, you'll, you'll be able to see that stem sticking out of the pebble. So I may have to just lift that one up with some fishing line. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Righto, that's what it's looking like at the moment. I've just um, suspended these two from the little stick above. Um, these two, it doesn't matter if they get a little bit of the pebbles up the sides because it's, you know, it's shallower here. So that'll be fine. And I have mixed up the Let's Resin for Deep Pour. 
two inches to four inches. That's part B. Um, and I did, it's a two to one. So I did 275 grams of A, 120 grams of B, and that should be enough. That should be enough just to bring it to just below where the feet are. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. That's it here. Now, if you wanted to, I would suggest using, you know, obviously a deep pour resin unless you want to do it in layers. Um, by all means, you can do it in layers um, if you don't have a deep pour resin. Um, but this one you can pour all at once. Um, and because it's going to be clear, um, if you've got a vacuum chamber or a um, airless bubble bubble free machine, use that. I'm going to do this now. All right, I'm just going to pour this in. I want to just put a little bit into the head first. If you've seen me use this caterpillar mold previously, you'll know that I, I just put a little bit in there first and just squeeze the little antenna, um, which are down the bottom here. <laughs> There they are. Give them a little bit of a, a squeeze. If you don't do that, you may end up with the bubble trapped in the antenna. Look, it's no, it's no, it's not the end of the world if it does happen. All you need to do is get some UV resin and um, pop it on top and make make a little antenna again. So, don't be, you know, too concerned if if you haven't done that and you've got a bubble in your antenna. Totally easy to fix. And if you don't have UV resin, you can just pop a, wait until your resin, your normal resin is a little bit thicker and kind of gels. And then just, you can make a little ball out of it. I've done that before and just glue it on. Or you can just add a little bit. If you've just got a little hole, you can just pop it in the little hole. Okay, I've given this quite a few squeezes. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be all right. Okay, but yeah, that's, that's the only thing you really need to be. Um, make sure that it's, the resin's gone into that little antenna there. They're only short antenna. It's not like the big snail mold that I've used previously. <laughs> I've broken antenna off that one. It's a very really long antenna. This one's only a little short antenna. So did that on purpose because I know how difficult this big snail can be to unmold. So I wanted to make sure this one wasn't. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a love tap here and there, a little bit of a squeeze. All right, so we should be good to go now. I'm just going to pour all this in. So, yeah, if you can get the bubbles out of your resin beforehand, do that. Um, otherwise, if you've got a pressure pot, you can pop the whole thing in the pressure pot. It does fit. Um, or you can just leave it as is. All right, how much resin do we need to pop in there? Let's have a little look. Like I said, I just want to bring it to where the feet touch the body. Mm, a little bit more, a little bit more. And then the feet will be filled up with pebbles. Which one do you like though? Like I, I don't know. See, the, the brownish, orangish one kind of matches those. And then the greyish ones are more of a contrast. So matching contrast. Oh, I don't know. I'll have to take the pebbles around and tell my family and go, which one, which one shall I use? It's hard making decisions sometimes, isn't it? I wish you guys could talk to me. You're all yelling out. Orange, grey, I can't hear you. Oh, I do have something very exciting to share with you. Those of you that have bought my moulds or those of you that are contemplating buying my moulds, my eBay store is on sale now, you guys, I have never, ever, ever done a sale. I am doing a Halloween sale one week only, okay? One week only. 10% off, you guys, store-wide, every single thing discounted 10%. So if there's a mold that you've been waiting for, um, but you thought, hmm, I can't really afford that, especially if you're overseas and you've got to add the shipping in, you know, it can be a bit expensive for some people if you're, you know, buying from another country. So this is it, one and only time to get Pouring Your Heart Out moulds from my eBay store, 10% off right now. There we go, there's my little sales pitch for you. <laughs> Aren't you glad I don't do it all the time? Once only. All right, I think I'm up to my level I want to be at. So that's it. Um, I will link this mould. You can only get this particular caterpillar mould from my US Amazon store. 
um, and they do send to the UK, they send to Australia, they send all over the place from um, the US. So grab yourself one of those. I'll link that below and I'll also link my eBay store for anyone that wants to get into that 10% off silicon mold sale, which is on right now, one week only. Okay, um, this is going to take a couple of days to cure, although once it's set um, and it's started to gel, I am going to put it in my um, heating curing machine <laughs> my resin curing machine or you can use your um, food dehydrator I've got a really old one that I never use so I use that as well so either one I'm going to pop it in there and um, I'll be able to unmold it in 24 hours instead of 48 because of the heat all right okay guys wish me luck hope it works um, so the next time you'll see me um, we'll be we'll be ready to put the stones on okay so that's what it's looking at the moment yay all right see you soon Righto, it has been two days and this has cured so very carefully so that I don't disrupt the mold and unmold part of it. I'm going to just snip these off like so and then make sure I get any little bits of thread that I can see still on there. Get them off as well. Is that it? There's another little bit under there that I can see. Where is it? There it is. <sighs> okay, I think that's it. <laughs> I can't see any more. All right, so I have got a little bit of Platinum 360 Plus resin because it's only going to be shallow um, and it will go off pretty quickly that looks as if it might have floated up a little bit I might have to trim that off that little bit and put my hand down here so that I don't cut my hand off <laughs> just with my little scalpel blade I think everything else is down lower. It doesn't matter if there's no pebble over the top of that. Um, no, it's going to be on, on the underside. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to put a little bit of resin in first, just so that it can flow into all the other little petals. Oh, no, they're not petals, are they? <laughs> Leaves, they're succulents. All right. Now what I think I'll do is, I'll just pop some of these in here, just so it's easier for me to, to handle. And I'm just going to kind of sprinkle, sprinkle, hopefully, hopefully they'll go around. May have to get a little toothpick or something and... Push some down around the back there. Hopefully we'll get some everywhere. But remember it's only the top, like, you know, centimetre or so, half an inch. You're a bit big. Yes, you are. You can come out. <laughs> All right, another little bit of resin so it can flow into those little feet. Actually, I think I better use a little silicone brush here. So we get some resin into those feet first so that we're not getting dry stones in there. Otherwise, you may get a bubble. So make sure that you've got some resin going into the little feetsies first. Probably made up way too much resin here. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, that's it. I'll try and get a few little pebbles down behind there. Is it, this is just um, aquarium gravel. Okay. 
Okay, let's poke it in now. Now that the feet have got resin in them, we'll put the stones on top and uh, hopefully that way we won't get bubbles in the, in the little feet. Hopefully I haven't put too much resin in there. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take my time. I'm gonna to have to push the stones into the feet there. If the resin wants to sort of come up and overflow, that's okay. I can just take some off with a paper towel if I've put too much in, like that one there. You can just go like that with the paper towel and, and get some of that resin out. So that it's got room for the pebbles. Make sure that we've got pebbles into all those little feet because you'll definitely see those the little feet and we want pebbles in them so that's basically all I'm going to do you could if you wanted to you know pour resin into your pebbles so that they're already like pre wet and then pour them in or you can pour them in dry and then put your resin on top but I found when I've done that in the past that I have got little bubbles trapped between the pebbles so that's why I'm just doing it this way but look I don't think there's any sort of right or wrong way do it however you however you want I think there's enough resin in there to get all these submerged and then try and get a flat bottom <laughs> if you can just so that you know when it's sitting on its bench um, on display that it's sitting nicely and it will make a gorgeous display in, in your home I think I think it'll be amazing that's probably a bit much we'll take off these huge ones so what I'm going to do once I've finished fiddling, I'm going to put um, a piece of plastic over the top and uh, I'm going to weigh it down just so that it is flat. And I'll show you in a minute once I've got all these pushed in where I want them. Okay, I think I've got it full. Now I've just cut up a plastic bag. I'm going to pop that over the top, that way I can give it a nice little smooth over with my hands. Make sure that everything is level. I think that's pretty good. Hope so. Actually there's a tiny little bit of area just there that hasn't got any resin in it there we go and you can see like there's a couple of little bubbly areas there where there's no no resin like um, where there's a gap from the um, from the stones so if you wanted to <clears throat> you could just go in and just add a little bit more resin to those areas and then smooth it out again but look it's it's the bottom I don't think anyone's going to really take much notice a couple of little stones here I can add a couple more a little drizzle of resin there Another little pebble, but yeah, I mean, it depends. Yeah, it depends how pedantic you want to be. Oh. Okay, a little bit more, a little drop of resin there. Only because this one's raised a little bit and that one's raised a little bit, so there's like a tiny little bubble there. So, anyway, get it how you want it. Put a little bit more resin or a little bit more pebbles in if you want to in a couple of spots. Right, so when you're happy with it, I can still see a couple of tiny bubbles in there, but I'm not going to worry about it. It's the back. When you're happy with it, I'm just going to pop my little cheese board, little board over the top, and just pop on 
a bottle of resin make sure that it's centered and it's not going to wobble over nothing too heavy it is a little bit on the wobbly side but it's not very not very centered all that well have a look make sure I've centered it properly have a look from the sides okay I think that's that's pretty good yep that's pretty good all right uh, so basically that's all I'm gonna do we've got it under there I've got the board and then we've got our little bottle of resin sitting on top okay now I will be able to unmold this later on today so yeah so excited hopefully it'll look amazing see you then okay you guys the time has come let's see what we've got okay that's set <laughs> it's cured let's peel this plastic away and hopefully we've got a nice flat bottom i think i've got a little bit of is that resin i don't know if that's resin or oh yes it is okay a little bit of a little bit of resin just overflowed a little bit because I pushed it down with the weight, but that's fine. And just pick that off. That's not a problem. Look at that. I shall put it on a piece of paper and then I can easily throw it out. So if there's any other little bits um, that are left on I can just trim them afterwards this is very satisfying <laughs> I must say peeling them off like this I didn't realize I had so much overflow did not realize comes off really easily though look at that all right is that done I'm gonna peel it off as I go bear with me bear with me Need to get it all off before I can unmold. But as I sort of push the mold down like that, I can pick those little bits off really easily. Clean them off my mold later. Now's this one. Oh, there's a little bit there. Get my nail under it. Okay, I think we're good to go. Yep, that's it. We're good to go. This is exciting. All right, let me move that. Move that out of the way. All right, I've got my isopropyl alcohol just in case I need to spray anywhere. But I don't think I. I will maybe just the head. It's pretty easy to mold up unmold <laughs> all right now don't look <laughs> no we have to we have to kind of look a little bit but i want to get i just want to get the body out i'll try not to flip it over i'll try not to flip it over just yet because then we can look at it together on the other side okay so we'll just do that with the body so it's out now i'm going to just don't look! <laughs> I can't help it. I can't help it. Just want to put a little bit of alcohol in there. A little bit. This is where you need another pair of hands. You probably don't even need the isopropyl alcohol because I'm just going to basically peel it up over his little chinny chin chin like this. I'm just going to do it gently. So it's not difficult to do. I'm just going to peel up over his head, like, like pulling a t-shirt off, basically. Okay, didn't really need that at all. And then just remember that he's got little antenna, okay, so don't just rip it off. We're going to ease, ease it off. Make sure we get the little antenna. Like I said, I didn't want to do, like, put, put fake eyes or, in, or anything like that. If you wanted to, you could colour them afterwards. But um, because... I just want the little cacti's to sing. All right, here we go. I'm just going to ease these out. So I didn't, you know, colour them with anything. Are we ready? Are we ready? Oh, one, 
two. Look at that. <laughs> and there he is. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Or oh, her. That is so cool. And see, it came out really easily. And then all you've got to do is just poke that back. And a little bit of a little bit of loose resin just went flying. Right, and that's it. Ready to use next time. Oh wow, look how good it turned out. Oh, guess what, you guys? What about if you did one with a little fish and it could be like a little aquarium? Wouldn't that be cool? Look at the little one in his tail. Now you can see it's got these little oval shapes. Um, if you wanted to, you could highlight those. Maybe, maybe some gold, maybe some silver, maybe some white. Or just leave it like that and let those gorgeous cacti take center stage there without doing anything else to it. You know that you can do too much sometimes, you know. This is more. We've got we've got a caterpillar with shapes on its back. We have cacti in there. We have pebbles on its feet. So, you know, I think there's enough going on. Look at his little face. I'm going to take you away from those bright lights. Oh, gosh, it's quite heavy. Take you away from those bright lights. Let's come up here and have a little look up here. And it's getting dark outside. Well, not dark, dark, but it's the light is going. So we'll just have a look over here. See what he looks like just in a little bit of natural light away from all those ring lights. Oh, I should have had him on a turntable for you. Loving those peachy colours. And we've got a little bit of yellowy and then we go into the green. And then this one here, this one's the sort of more white um, and it's got little tips of apricot in it, which sort of pick up these little bits of apricot. And then we've got a green here, which matches the green down there. And then we've got some purpley tones down here, which I guess mimic a little bit of that sort of purpley peachy tone in there. And then we've got a little bit more of the pinky tone and greeny tone down there. So I think they match really well. Let's turn him around. Him or her. What do you think? Oh, it's just a Dora bubble. Look at the pebbles. Do you like his little feet? Oh, it's so cute. Wow. Look at the little antenna. See, it's very easy to unmold. No breakage of antennas here. You just have to make sure that you do get the resin right into those. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, so excited. All right, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed my little caterpillar video and remember he is only available in my us amazon store which do ship worldwide if you want one and of course if you're amazon prime member you get free shipping i'll link him below make sure you grab yourself one while stocks last all right thank you so much for watching i'll see you again real soon for the next one take care guys bye for now it's a good size it's a good size <laughs> all right Bye for now.